I'm going to show you how to add uh, your first content to your home page and to um, add some rules uh, to style it and then we're going to upload it to your um, website. So um, to begin with um, you should have your index.html page open and it shows it up here in the tab and if you click inside the um, design area you can see the cursor blinking. Um, and to add our first rule, we're simply going to um, uh, add a background color uh, to the body of our page. To do that, uh, we go over, we make sure that we go over to the CSS designer area. We click on desktop CSS, which should be in the sources area. Um, it's the linked style sheet. And then if you go down to the selectors area and click on the little plus sign, so this is a selector for the style sheet. We click on the plus symbol and it automatically shows body and that's because that's all we have um, uh, currently in our site is just the body. So the first rule we're going to create is a body rule um, and if you don't see body in there you can type it in yourself but as soon as you've got body in there we're going to click just to the right side of that selector area and it turns blue and we see the properties area uh, appears. Now if you want to have a little bit more real estate down here just go up to the files tab, um, the panel up at the top and if you double click on any of these um, tabs it will collapse them. So once again you double click and it opens, double click and it closes it and we've got a little bit more real estate uh, here to work with uh, in design view. And all we're going to do um, is go to the properties area and you notice the first little icon is layout, the second is for text, the third is for border, the fourth one is background and that's the one that we want. So if you click on the background icon and the first thing we see there is background color and we're going to click on this little thing, that little um, pull down menu that says undefined, we're going to click on that and I'm just going to choose a background color for my page which is a gray. Now you can choose whatever color you want. Keep in mind that you should probably stick with lighter colors. Um, if you do darker colors you're going to have to reverse out your text uh, for it to be visible. Um, so I'm just going to stick with a pretty safe light gray here. You can plug in your own uh, hex number if you want. Um, but once you've chosen a color you simply hit return and it'll change the black, the background of your design view so you can see that the background color of my page has changed. So um, next thing I want to do is I want to add a container which is a um, containment ele element or in this case we're going to use a div and you've probably heard of divs, divs stand for divisions. We're going to create a div um, a container to hold the various um, areas or sections of my page. Um, and to do that we're going to go up to the insert panel up here next to files. Click on that and you can see it's got a little pull down menu here that says structure and a number of different structural parts for a page underneath it. The first one being div. Now there are different insert menus, common, um, which also has a div, but it also has video, um, canvas, images that we're going to be using um, later in the course. But for the moment, let's go back to structure. So we want the structure pull down menu and I'm going to insert a div. Click on that and I'll leave it set for insertion point, but instead of inserting a class we're going to insert a, an ID div here um, and you'll be reading more and I'll explain more to you the, about the difference between class selectors and ID selectors later on. Um, so we're going to go into the ID field and we're going to create a container. And this container is usually what you're going to create to put other parts of your page in there like header and footer as you'll see here in a minute. So I choose container all lowercase once again and click OK. 
and it creates a content um, area for ID container, which is just a placeholder. And this is my container. And to begin with, um, I'm going to um, go down to the selector area once again with the div container still selected. Um, I'm going to go across to selectors where it says selectors again and click plus. And it says container. Do you want to style a container? Notice there's a little pound sign in front of it. And I'm going to click to the right. So it is selected. Once again, collapse my insert panel so I can go to container. And the very first layout part here I want selected. So I want layout width for the container. I'm going to set that width to pixels and make it 750. So you're going to make your container 750 pixels wide. And let's set the height temporarily to 800 pixels high. And we can change this later um, uh, to auto for height. But for the moment, I just want you to see what, and I hit tab there to move on to the next field. So it's 800 wide by seven, uh, 800 high by 750 pixels wide. And I'm going to go down to margin in this same layout area. And I'm going to click on the left margin where it says PX for pixels. And I'm going to choose from the pop-up menu here, auto. And go to the right margin as well and choose auto. So you can see what this has done is this automatically, the left auto, right auto margins automatically centers the div container. So um, we've created um, the um, div container now, and we're ready to uh, put in our um, other elements here, which we'll do in the next video.